I don't think a lot of people saw this one coming. So I think a lot of people that have been wishing for a song mode for about six years, seven years, are very, very happy now. Uh, and the ones that have sold their uh, Digitex or S Digitone or Syntax because of the lack of this feature uh, might consider rebuying it, um, which is pretty cool. I think uh, I was really scared Skeptical. I'm, I'm not a um, not a big fan of, of song modes because I really like to perform with these devices. I don't play guitar during my set. So, but if if you you know if you're occupied with other instruments in your hand and you need both hands to play them, then it then it definitely makes sense to to want a song mode of sorts. The way they've implemented it is actually very nice. I think that they did a very good job. Because we have these three dots here on this button. And as you might remember, previously when you press this button, you would get into this menu, uh, the pattern menu. And you would see quantize, rename, etc., import, export, and you know. Uh, and when you press funk and this button, you would get into import, export sound. It still does that. But now when I just press this button, we get into this little pop up uh, screen. Song mode off. It currently st states, right? So what I can do, I can switch it on and you can see by the yellow LED that it is on. So it's now in song mode, which means that when I press play, it will start playing a song that was last chosen or last loaded. If I press, uh, go into this, uh, this menu again and I press um, menu, we get the, the song menu, right? And we can rename this song, we can clear it, we can load a song, and we can save the song to a project, to this project. So if I press uh, choose load, you can actually see that we have 16, up to 16 songs that we can save into one project. I mean, that should be enough for most people, I think. <laughs> um, so that's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of um, uh, songs. So let me switch to an empty song, right? So we're just gonna load an empty song, and now if I play, nothing ha happens because song three is empty. Okay, so we're gonna press these uh, dots again, and now yeah, you can choose between loop, uh, load, edit. Press the right arrow. We get into the the real song mode edit screen. And you can see this song is empty. Function plus down, insert row. Yes, create rows from chain. So if you have a chain created, right? So I press I hold, um, if I go out of song mode and I press pattern and chain these uh, patterns together and now go into song mode and then go into edit mode, I can now press yes and it will say, Grid rows from current chain or from a new chain. So I can also choose new new chain and then select uh, create a chain. But now from current chain and bam, it has loaded these. Um, I only selected two rows apparently, two um, uh, patterns. But yeah, you get the idea. So the way it works is you have a couple of functions under these arrows and it, takes a little bit of you getting used to but it's it's quite intuitive so with the the arrows you can navigate through these through these columns and through the rows and you can see the dotted line uh, is the, the the row that's currently active or where I'm at and you see this little arrow that says that's the playhead basically so this is where it's going to start playing and uh, well then we have a label and we can choose when I hold funk, uh, sorry, when I press yes, <laughs> I can change the intro, this label to intro, outro, bridge, chorus first, blah, 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 break, noise. So there are quite a lot of labels that you can put here to indicate where you are in the song. So the way it works, you navigate with the arrow buttons and you change the values with the level or any of the encoders. So we can change the pattern that is playing. We can change how many times the pattern should play. So how many times it will loop before moving on to the next row. We can change the length of the pattern, which 
is uh, it overrides the original pattern length. So the original pattern length might be um, uh, uh, 64 steps, but uh, we can actually set this to uh, more steps if we want. So that's the, basically it's a change length. And here you can override the, the tempo of a um, pattern. So no matter the, what the original tempo of the pattern was, this overrides it when you're in song mode. You can also press yes here, and then you see this little screen. You can also enter this by just uh, wherever you are, just enter the tempo screen. And this is the, the song mode tempo screen. So you can switch to song BPM, where every row will be have the same BPM that we set here. So if I set 134, um, and go back, you will see that these, when I change these, you will change them for all the rows. Yeah, you have per row swing, which is quite sweet. So uh, here we have this mute icon, um, and if we press yes here, you can actually mute tracks uh, per row. It, it's a different mute state than the pattern mutes. You can see that I've muted all the the tracks in pattern mute mode. Well, these have no influence on the song mutes, actually. So I can just still play this and you can hear all the sounds, even though they're all muted in pattern mute modes because, you know, I've unmuted them here. So that's kind of good to know. When, as soon as I mute one of the tracks and press yes, you can see this icon appear uh, indicating that there is a mute. If you want to change uh, the Playhead, you can actually go um, to this row and press yes, and it will switch to the, the playhead to that row, and then you can play it from there. Then we have another, a couple of other functions that happen when you uh, press funk and these arrows. So uh, left and right do nothing, but up deletes a row, and down adds a row, and it adds a copy of the row that you've selected, basically, underneath the the row. So that's kind of good to know. Um, let's remove all of these. You can also copy a row and then paste it over another row. So first I have to add a row and now I can paste this row over here. I can also clear a row and then you can actually see that it reflects now the mute state that I've set in the pattern mutes, it, def yeah, it defaults everything, basically. One other thing that I wanted to show was when you go out of uh, song mode, the last thing is that you see this bar. Uh, it shows you the number uh, sh of the song, right? And then the number of rows and the row it's playing and the pattern. And you can also see this bar light up and you can actually see the progress of the, 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 the pattern that it's playing, which is quite cool. When you're in this performance mode and change the parameters while the song progresses, you can actually keep an eye on this bar um, and, you know, at the very end, do some stuff to transition into the next pattern, which is a very nice touch. So the original, uh, so, uh, the original uh, pattern sounds a little bit like this. Then I put it into a song, and now it sounds like this. So if I go to um, uh, the edit mode, uh, basically what you can do is, is it's re very easy to add rows, change the tempo. So I half the tempo, e every row, it plays half tempo, double tempo, half tempo, double tempo, etc. And then some, um, or no normal tempo, half tempo, normal tempo, half tempo, and then some of them have double tempo, um, as you can see, or triple uh, tempo, or yeah, half the tempo tripled um, and you can actually calculate okay how many steps should this pattern play how many times it should play and then you can actually create a structure that is um, 
still uh, musically correct, so to speak, but has all these weird, wild tempo changes, which is quite cool. So you can see that I used lengths of three, and then here I play this um, this one six steps. So it's only playing most of the time. It's only playing the first three steps of this pattern, and then every now and then it plays six steps. Uh, sometimes it repeats it um, only two steps, but repeats it six times at a faster tempo. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to kind of play with that. And I copied uh, the pattern and used another chord to every now and then change kind of the chord. So you can see that. You can also hear the warbly uh, flutter of the delay because of these tempo changes, the time used by the delay switches, so you get these warbly effects in the background. I thought it was fun. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, subscribe to my channel and like the video. And let me know what you think of this way of adding song mode. Is this this is workable for you? Is, is this what you've dreamed of that they would have it would add to the diggy boxes? Or is it completely useless to you? Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next video. Cheers!